Good morning, it's Monday, July 27th, 2015. And we're doing some laundry. We're going to be doing laundry heavy all day. We also have to take a trip to, uh, this is empty. We also have to trip, take a trip to Lowe's and get some packing tape and some uh, 4x8 boards to seal off the living room with so animals can't get in when they're not. My mom's going for surgery Thursday. I'm going to have this all ready. Yeah, these dishes are going to take some time to add it today, too. I'm going to make some hamburgers, cheeseburgers, whatever, for my mom today. This morning. So, in a minute, I'm just going to have a coffee that I'm going to clean a load of dishes to get some sink space. I emptied the thing. And I gotta get down to Lowe's right after walking the dog. I might walk him a little early because it looks like it's gonna rain. Yeah, I'm taking the dog around. Garbage men still haven't come. It's a little afternoon right now. About 10 minutes afternoon. Not a good dogger. Uh, I'm gonna try to clean that house as much as possible. Today I gotta get some tape for the boxes. Try, trying to by Thursday have have it ready to uh, for her recovery even though she's not gonna be back. Probably till the weekend or something. I really don't know. I don't know how long they're going to keep her. But hopefully it'll be a quick recovery and she'll be in real good shape. She still does have a knee problem though. So she's going to have to reschedule for uh, knee replacements as well. Okay, I'm going to grill my mom some hamburger cheeseburgers actually they actually have the ones we have left have cheese embedded in them let me preheat this thing hopefully there's enough gas to uh, to do this All right. preheat it then I'll clean it it's easier to clean when it's hot and then I'll um, Cooker, son. Well, Robert didn't do the best job in the world, unfortunately, on this weeding. I'm going to sweep the sidewalk off. I'm going to get mulch for this today. At least he got most of them. Yeah, I have an ice scraper somewhere I could use as an edger. Get this grass edged out. Okay, I'm heating a cup of coffee. I'm going to get to these dishes in a few minutes. I'm going to go upstairs and put the laundry in for another run. Okay, run two. A knit delicate for this stuff. And run she only gave me a little bit of clothes. It's, it's going to cost a lot of time. And run two on super wash for this. No, uh, no soap this time, just to rinse it. And the kitty cat, that's a vacuum this hole upstairs. Gee, this is awful. Okay, this is about heated up. <laughs> I'll drink my coffee and wash dishes at the same time. Yeah, four minutes left. I'm gonna let it heat up. I'm letting it heat up for like ten minutes. Then I'll go out there. Alright, time to tackle these stupid dishes again. Okay, I washed the pot, but I like to... Oh, why is this stopping now? I like to, um... boil the water to make sure it's clean. And it's so I don't this pot here. So... I'm going to put this on the stove and I'm a little over 
time the timer ran out. I'm supposed to watch the pan on the stove too. Anyway, making a little headway. I'm really slow washing that dishes. Okay. All right, let's put that on high. We'll give it. About 10 minutes should boil it. Turn on the light. That's next. I put some dishwashing fluid in here to, you know, it looks gross. Just soften this up a little. It was all baked on cheese. Alright, I'm going to go put those hamburgers in. Okay, it's nice and hot. so it keeps the juices in. You sear the bottom, flip them, sear the top, which becomes the bottom. And then you can cook them however you want and the juices stay in as much as possible. Okay, I'm going to take this dish in. This is contaminated because it's, it's got to be washed again because it's raw meat on it. I'll let that bottom sear and I'll come back out and Flip it. I'll bring a new dish later. I'm gonna grab my coffee, wash the dish, and came back out. I've only been out gone a couple minutes. So, what I try to do is when you flip them, they make uh, lines in them. And when you flip them, you just put a 90 degree angle on them. Lines, just flip them in a way where the lines turn into a degree angle and it makes a nice diamond pattern on these. Okay, let's uh, put more of this silly in pan. I'm going to just use the whole bottle on these stupid things. Aggravated that that pouring thing's not on there. Okay. We should get a pouring thing, a commercial one, and just pour all the moisture stuff in. Maybe we buy it at a gallon or something. Okay. This will give it about, I don't know, seven minutes. Badly, this is. Oddly, this is taking longer to, to boil than I thought. Okay, let's, uh, I've added now uh, three plus two, I've added five minutes, so that'll be 15 minutes of boiling when that goes off in seven minutes. All right, or no, yeah, yeah, that's what I added. Okay, once it boils, I... Okay, it's time for another flip. Uh-oh, I don't know which way we're 
go for that one. I guess I can make that one well done. Dog's gonna get a treat. <clears throat> only one piece of cheese left. I'm gonna put that on my mom's. I should go get the dish. Mine's almost done. Okay, mine's done. They should be medium rare, I, I hope. Got a bit. William Parents sauce factory. <laughs> the thing went right in. They tried to push the portion control cap down because it was broken and it went right into the uh, right into the bottle now, now you just pour the bottle and it just all pours out it was pouring out anyway because the cap kept falling and the cap fell right out alright mine are done turn these down a little and uh my mom's can simmer. She likes them really well done. So I'm gonna go. I got toast toasting. I'm gonna put some ketchup and pepper and Jamaican jerk on these. Ah, I forgot she only wants one. I better take one more of these out before it gets too well done. Okay. I guess I'll have to eat three. Okay, toasting two more lids. Shame we're out of cheese. <laughs> we're always running out of stuff and buying other stupid stuff that nobody eats. It ends up getting thrown away. It's really very inefficient. I make a list, she throw the list out. And then make her own list. For example, she'll buy two cucumbers, fresh cucumbers, and uh, only eat like a tenth of one, and then we throw the rest out. Okay, these are ready except for the ketchup and the lids, and that one needs some bread. So. We got too much, that's another thing, she bought too much bread. Got way, way too much bread. One, two. Oh, I guess Robert ate two loaves, my god. Okay, I guess we don't have too much bread. Already into the Milano bread already. Alright. <laughs> wow. He eats about a loaf a day. Easily. Alright. Just waiting for that to pop. Let's all put some more Worcestershire sauce on it. I put in the other bread. Then I got to put my mom's breads in too. Actually, I should have took out, taken out the uh, Milano bread. I like it better than Myers. Well, that's not going real well. <laughs> the cheese is melting into my pet. That's my mom's burger. Okay, cheeseburger with Worcestershire sauce, ketchup, onion powder, and pepper for my mom. Okay, there's my third one, uh, pepper, Jamaican jerk, Worcestershire sauce, and ketchup. A bit of cheese that fell on the ground for the dog later. I'll get him a plate looking. Yeah, it looks like garbage man finally came. I'm going to bring in the can, then I'm going to shoot over to, uh, I don't know where it is, past Stroudsburg to where Lowe's is. And uh, get some stuff. Finally on my way to the market. Um, <laughs> I didn't even get out of the yard and my mom's calling me up and telling me to buy her some ice cream. So I have to pick up some ice cream. And it is a beautiful day for a drive. I normally keep the windows open. I shut the windows so you can hear me without wind. But, um, this is the drive along the Delaware. It's really pretty except for the ugly guardrails they all stick up here. 
They used to have old fashioned guardrails, they ripped them all down. Like wooden ones and the rock ones north of here that they uh, just covered up with concrete ones. Because they didn't feel like spending the money to restore it. I assume this is all federal property. We're, right, we're not too far from the um, Appalachian Trail. Actually, the Appalachian Trail crosses over in Delaware, New, New, Delaware, Pennsylvania, which isn't far from here. Yeah, it was Bartonsville exit off of 80. I always forget. I know where it is, but I always forget the names of it. Anyway, there's the Lowe's uh, complex. It's still doing okay for gas. A little miss in this engine. I don't know that wasn't 84. I wonder if the wires come loose or something. Very strange. Well, it's the second day in a row I've gotten front front lot parking. There's Lowe's. <laughs> I got uh, at Weiss the other day. I was able to park right up front. It's pretty nice. Usually they have it all painted handicapped or something. Okay, so progress. Uh, I got some three boards here, two to block that window and one to start to build that door, the temporary door, keep the animals out of the living room for my mom to recover. Um, I'm going to just get like a rope hanger to keep the door closed. I'm able to reach from both, reach in. Not big enough for the cat to get in there. And uh, yeah, packing tape, magic markers, Windex. It's going to be an expensive trip, I think. Okay, I ended up getting a lot of my mom's grocery shopping stuff, too. Household stuff. Well, it's not looking like I'm going to be able to stop at Walmart. I'm going to have a tough time fitting all this stuff in the car at all. I think the seat comes down somehow. Well, I figured it out. There's a secret cord. It's cool. So I'll throw the loose stuff on the bottom. Yeah, this is why people need trucks. It's just stupid. It's flopping down too far. I'm going to have to make some kind of a net. First thing I have to secure these 2x4s. Okay, I tied them at an angle so they're not going to hopefully slide back when I put pressure on the front of these. I'll bring this around the front. Tie them tight and it'll pressure it up the back. Then I gotta somehow get this held up. Okay, those two by fours are tied in really tight. They aren't going anywhere, they'll go side to side, but I'm about to fix that. They won't go front to back, which will be knocking them out. I just want to make a little net on the back and use that as a thing to, a good way to hold this up. Okay, creative. Creative Tie Downs 101. This isn't going anywhere. It goes side to side a little bit. I ran out of rope to... Well, actually, I could tie this together to that. Then it won't. Yeah, I'll just tie that right there real easy. Okay, now the back won't even move. And this back... <laughs> this isn't going to move. I hope. The wind will just push this down and help it even more if it goes down. Don't know, I'll just take it easy. Well, I'm going to take the back roads. I'll take this slow road through town. I don't really want to get boogieing with this hairy uh, rope uh, net that I made. <laughs> All that has to do is shift wrong and the thing falls right off. 
And we made it back home. This thing held up perfect. I'm really good at tying stuff down, I gotta say. Okay, I'm trying to jam this first one. It looks like I bought one piece of plywood too many. Thought I'd need two there. Couldn't find my tape measure. I would have known I only needed one. So I'm going to just put one. I had the bookcase jamming in, but i got to move the bookcase out, which means i got to move this whole table out. Which means i got to move this stuff out. I'll have to wait until my mom goes back in the room because she's in the bathroom. And she has to get by and I'm going to block the way. Yeah, I'll tell you, this is exhausting s stuff. Exhausting. Okay, almost there. Okay, there it is. I uh, moved the bookcase out and I moved it back in again. Now I gotta put everything back where it was. I'll just jam this with some stuff or whatever. Keep it from moving. I should keep the cat traffic from getting in the living room. <sighs> the next thing I gotta build a door, temporary door in here. Okay, this room's sealed to that point. I'm trying to <clears throat> seal the living room off. I'll put a bed in there and rearrange it, pull out all those boxes and whatever, stack them over here so that we can uh, have a recovery area for my mom. This is rough. It is rough. So hot. Oh man. It's so hot today. I'm so burnt out. Anyway, there's the dog. Going out. The trailer looks a little pushed over to the right. It's kind of weird. Ah. Must be going. Yeah, I went all the way up there. I forgot to buy mulch. It's been 160 bucks and I forgot to buy the darn mulch. Ugh. So I have to go somewhere again and get the mulch. Gonna get the mulch tomorrow, I guess. I'm never going to get to the van before she's going into the hospital anyway. Then I'll be just running around visiting, so... <sighs> it's not looking good. <laughs> Hope I can get down south this summer. Knock out some stuff. Well, I'm being sent out market going again. She wants her ice cream really bad kind of wiped out from the sun, but I don't know, I drank about a gallon of fluids and so all of a sudden heat stroke or something and the store has been packed every day since it's opened. It's crazy. Yeah, my mom's on a soup binge. She put out all their chicken corn chowder. So we're gonna try this chunky stuff. It's two bucks a can. That's, that adds up, man. It's like twelve bucks right there. Don't know. Box of crackers. It's the only kind of ice cream there is. Well, there's another thirty dollars. So that brings it to about hundred and ninety-six dollars in market going today. At least, I think there might be more. I don't remember. Oh, well, my mom wants to go to bed now. It's dog taking out time. Didn't get as much done as I had hoped for. And I got the uh, living room sealed. I got tape for tomorrow. So, step by step. <laughs>